Hey guys, Joyce and Anthony, aka JJ. On day 11, we went over the four different ways to light a scene. This is another way, using an HDRI. I found this on Gumroad, Easy HDRI. It was the first link and it's free. So if you scroll down, this is on Gumroad. Easy HDRI is a free blender add-on that will help you load and test your blender HDRI images quickly. Okay, I'm gonna select Git. And I selected the top one, Easy HDRI 1.1.1. I'm gonna click download and save that to my desktop. The zip file is saved to my desktop. I just clicked a general new file. Then I'm going to edit preferences, add on, and I'm going to install it. Going to my desktop, finding the Easy HDRI 1.1.1 zip file, and I am going to turn it on. So now it's on. You can click refresh or the bottom three lines at the bottom, but I have auto save preferences on, so it's saved. Now I'm gonna press shortcut in, and then on the right, it should be right there, Easy HDRI. So now this add-on is good to go. We just need an HDRI. I am going to go back to the internet, Google Chrome, and I'm going to polyhaven.com. It used to be called HDRI Haven back, time, back then. Okay, I'm going to click Browse HDRIs. You can get their add-on, but you do have to pay for it. That's why I showed you the free option earlier. It is $5 if you sign up for Patreon or $30 at the Blender Market. Let's go back to the previous page. This is their HDRI section. I'm scrolling down because I want the HDRI to go with the trees that I made two days ago. Okay, I like that. So I am going to go up to the top right. I'll keep the 4K. Yeah, I'll keep it 4K, but I need to change that to an HDR. Okay, and then I'm going to click download. Okay, I'm going to move that HDRI file to my desktop and go back to Blender. Now that that's there, I'm going to find where I saved it. Uh, there's the HDR file. And now I'm going to click create world nodes at the bottom. And I need to switch my viewport shading to rendered at the top. And this is my HDRI. It's again, another way to light your scene instead of just using like the point light, area light. This is another way. I'm gonna switch my scene from this default cube to the trees that I made. Not I made, the tree add-on that we did two days ago. Now I want to play with all these settings that come with this add-on. But before I want to move around just to show you guys, it's kind of cool. Let me get out of camera mode. And that's just a point light that I had originally. I'm just going to keep it right there. So now to playing with the settings the sun strength and the sky strength. Mm -hmm. Background display. Mm -hmm. Color.
gamma and saturation. And then if you don't like it, you can reset. You also have this drop down with two options, mirror ball. Oh. oh, okay, I'm gonna change it back to the default. You can also rotate the HDRI. Day 28, the challenge is just to get familiar with HDRIs. You can use this add-on, you don't have to, but I think it's really cool of all the settings that you can adjust and play around with. I'm just gonna turn the light the line art back on to see how it looks because I had it off for this project. Um, okay, I think it looks better with the line art off. Well, I'm gonna keep on playing around with this, but hopefully after watching this, you feel a little bit more familiar with HDRIs and just another way to light a scene. This is Joyce and Anthony, AKJJ. See you tomorrow.